Right, mom is gonna film now. Okay, so give me two seconds, right? Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Justine. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So for today's video, it's gonna be like a mini vlog, but like not really, it's more just going to be a flat tour. What everyone has literally been asking me since I've moved in. But yeah, I moved into this flat in May of this year. Um, and I'm gonna be here for a year. Um, so there's not much I can do to it, obviously, because it's a rental. But at the same time, I'm very into interior design and I'm really into like just decorating. I didn't wanna do too much to this place because I can't be bothered to like take down a lot of the things that I had in mind, but I have done like little changes like lampshades and you know, like decor pieces and blankets and etc. etc. I haven't done that much to it, so I don't want people to expect like a massive transformation. But I am slowly implicating more things. Like, for example, Amara's room is not done at all. There's like little pieces I want to do for it because obviously she's going to be here until she can like walk and stuff. So her room is like the last room that I'm going to focus on. I want to do like accents on her wall and like little prints and pictures and frames and little toy animals and all of that stuff for her. And then in my room, I'm literally not doing anything to my room. I don't really care about my room that much. Um, it's mainly the living room that we have like done the most of and kitchen bits so i'm just gonna stop talking and i'm gonna show you guys around my flat and what i've done to it this isn't gonna be a completed flat tour and i don't think i will do like a full completed flat tour with ins and outs of every little bit of my flat because it is my flat at the end of the day and i do want to keep some stuff to myself especially amara's room like i will show bits and pieces of it but i don't want to invade her privacy i know she's a baby but still so we're just gonna get started with the tour Okay guys, we're starting off at the front door. This is my door because obviously it is a flat and there is someone living downstairs. So then I walk all the way up these stairs that I need to hoover. I've done this already. If you guys want to see like the unfurnished kind of flat tour, then let me, oh my God, my carpet is so dirty. So we are in like the landing, I guess. If you've seen my empty flat tour, then I'll link it above and down below. But my carpets are stained. These carpets are so stained, not because of the people who previously lived here, but because of me and Amara. We just have stained it so much. I really hope my landlord doesn't watch this, but I am going to find a carpet cleaner that I can clean my carpets because they are just so stained. You will see that in the living room and on the sofa because the sofa was my sister's. There's like a rip in it, but I don't really care about that. But the sofa is so stained. It looks disgusting. It's literally coffee stains, milk, spit up. Like it's disgusting, I know, but I need to find a, a carpet cleaner and a sofa cleaner. So as I said, you walk here, here are the stairs. And the first thing you see is this bit. This is my kitchen. I don't really care about my kitchen too much. Um, the only thing that I do not really like about this kitchen is obviously this is exposed the pipes and stuff and that's the boiler um is that there's not much storage there's drawers up here and i can put stuff up there but i just chosen not to put anything up there for now um but there are no drawers in this kitchen like to put cutlery so let me just start here again so the first thing you see are this radiator and my shoes these are just the shoes that i literally wear every single day my new balance is my two air forces and my boots because of the weather's changing i've moved everything else I used to have a rug here, like a small carpet, but I moved it there. It's gonna move. It does not look right there at all. But I do wanna get a shoe rack here possibly, or like a little table. If you guys can imagine it, just a rectangular table to put shoes underneath and to put like my letters and stuff above. But I just got this. I got this when I first moved in. It's from Amazon. Everything that I, if I remember, I'll link it down below in my description. But so yeah, it literally just has my letters on it. When I get letters, I just pop it here. And then it has like a mask, obviously, because we still have to wear masks. It has my keys. It has the fob for my water and my boiler and whatever else. I've got two radiators here. And then let me show you guys the kitchen. The kitchen is not that interesting at all, but I have tried to make it like kind of cute. Um, you guys will see that I have changed all of the lampshades um except the chandelier that is there i cannot change it obviously i have changed all the lampshades and i'm really happy about it um they are all from b m if i find it i'll link it down below but this is my fridge above the fridge the fridge is literally the same height as me you guys like literally above the fridge i literally just have amara's milk her bottles i have a feeding bib i just have a bunch of like storage 
like containers for her formula and a bunch of like her spoons and my metal straws for my coffee and then over here this is what i've done the other day just to try and make it look like somewhat more organized um these are from b&m these mason jars and i just put my rice in it and my flour because i do have rice and flour every day when i make amara pancakes i have the flour then i have these two bowls that i use for her to give her like fruits and stuff and then in here i put my pasta in it because i don't like how the pasta looked just in the plastic like packets um and then this is my cooker i don't really like it at all but hey ho it's a cooker it does what it needs to do then i've got an oven i've got this toaster thing that i have never used my fridge is not fun you guys i don't know why people want to see what's in my fridge but this is this is my fridge i did do a food shop recently and then moving over here this is my sink i literally just cleaned the kitchen like i just wiped and washed everything as you can see um but here i just got this from b&m again um i don't like a massive trip to b&m um and i just got this this is actually meant for a bathroom but i wanted to use it in my kitchen then i have like my scissors my knives my spoons and stuff chopping board is here then my cutlery like my washing rack i guess is here i got it from my kit you guys can't really see it right now but i got it from my kit it's just black and then this is my sink it's not really it's not interesting at all i've got my cleaning spray amara's bottle um sponge i've got this plant that i've had for so long um i probably need to throw it away but it's so pretty and i think it goes nicely with the kitchen um i did want a lot of like plants but we'll see and then this is my f new favorite thing don't mind amara's dummy i just washed it my new this is like my favorite corner of my kitchen my favorite corner and it just all matches and it makes me really happy but i got these from oh my gosh matalan i believe um you can't even see the words it just says sugar coffee and tea um and i have my like coffee beans in here and my sugar and tea obviously when i feel like drinking tea but then this kettle is new i got it from aldi actually no i got it from lidl i got this kettle from lidl it was like 20 something pounds i think but it's so beautiful i hate my last kettle that i have yeah this amazing i absolutely love it and then this is like my coffee corner for me just make me feel happy this is my what mummy makes book when oh when i want to like be creative with recipes and stuff oil because i use this all the time this is my coffee milk frother from amazon um and yeah these are recent i got these two from aldi so i got this coffee syrup this caramel syrup it came with vanilla and chocolate i think this is delicious i love it so much i don't like this syrup it tastes a bit weird um and the mason jar is the same ones that i have over there that is also from B&M and I just put my coffee pods in there for my Nespresso, Nespresso? For my Nescafe um, machine. Okay guys, Amara has joined me and um, we can barely see her, but she's joined me because she was fussing, but I can't really show you guys these cupboards. Um, this is just a spice rack. I got. It's not even a spice rack. It's a rack for my spices that I got because obviously I use spices when I cook. Um, it's just got all the basics that I use like jerk seasoning, all purpose. All right, so I've just opened up the cupboards for you guys. In this cupboard is my glasses, my mugs, my coffee stuff, flour, um, and sugar. And then at the top, you guys cannot even see. I don't even know what's at the top. I need to throw a lot of the stuff away, but obviously, I'm literally five foot five and I cannot reach it. Corey can't even reach it, but I just put some bread up there. There's some crackers and like random snacks and granola. Okay, so coming out of the kitchen, you walk down here um, and the first door here, let me open it, is the bathroom. I actually hated my bathroom when I first moved in, um, but I've just done some little stuff to it to make it like look decent. Let's come in. Hi. Right, now I can show you properly. I just popped Amara on the floor. Yeah, in this cupboard, nothing special. So literally just face wash, like wipes, makeup wipes, um, toothpaste, toothbrush. We have Amara's toothpaste and toothbrush in here as well because I've started brushing her teeth. And then my sink is here. Underneath the sink is just a bin and my mop is there as well because the mop does not go anywhere else. We don't have any storage cupboards. And then my bath, I've got this non-slip mat. I think I got it from Amazon. And then this was a present from someone on our Amazon wish list. For Amara, we literally just put a couple of her bath toys in here. It's from Munchkin. Um, I need to get her some more bath toys because she just loves the bath and she loves the splash. So I need to get her some more bath toys. But then over here, toilet, obviously cleaning stuff down there. Um, and then this is just like my little bath section. We've got Amara's like bath stuff, her Vino baby. Hi, baby. Hi. 
Hi, you're so small. Yeah, um, we do, this is what I use to wash her hair and then I use the Urbino Baby Daily Care to wash her body. I've just got a candle in here for when I have baths. Got this Epsom salt bath salt thing. I don't know, because I wanted to actually treat myself and try and make an effort when I take a bath. I just now clean the bath, so that's there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come, let's go into your room. Right, so coming out of the bathroom, this is Amara's room. Yeah, so the first thing you see when you walk in her cot is to the left of the bedroom. We just have this chair. This is one of the dining chairs from the living room. She dropped this paper on the floor. Um, but her cot is actually from, I do not remember, online baby, I think. But then over here, this is the baby monitor that I used it's from Victor. I don't really like it to be completely honest. I wanna get another one, but I'm not sure what one to get. So if you guys have any recommendations, leave them down below for me. This is her chest of drawers from Ikea. It just has all of her clothes in it. And then up here, this is what I use to do her hair. So I'm about to do her hair and get her dressed now because we're gonna go for a walk and to the post office. Yeah, not much is over here. Then we got this. I think I got this as a present. And we just have Amara's six month old Polaroids in there, which is so sweet. And then I have a bunch of books here that I read to her at night. Her boots that now fits her, but she doesn't like to wear. And then this is her wardrobe. Her wardrobe is kind of random all over the place. Um, I just keep her nappies, extra bath wash in here, some nappy bags, Vaseline, all of that. And then these are like her clothes that I know none of these fit her anymore. And then behind her door, I just have her bath towels and her jacket that she wears when we go outside. And then this is just a lighter weight cardigan, but I need to get her like a proper actual jacket um, to wear because it's getting colder and it was heavy raining the other day. So definitely need to get her some more stuff. Hi. Ma. Yes, baby. Ma. 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 Look at this big child. Guys, she's Ma. massive, I can't. Ma. This is the lampshade that we have for Amara's room. Ma. I love it so much. It's in black. It's a different style to the one that's in the bathroom, but I do have the same black one in my bedroom. I believe I'll show you guys that now. That's lunchtime for Amara. I'm gonna show you guys the other half of the flat. You saying Ma. bye? I'm gonna show you guys the other half of the flat when I get back from the post office and taking her out for a walk because she's bored as anything inside and she needs to eat. So yeah, I showed you guys this half of the flat, the bedroom and the bathroom. And then I'm gonna show you guys the living room and my bedroom and the stuff that we've done for baby proofing as well. So say bye-bye, we'll see you in a little bit. Right, so we just got back from the post office. Oh my god, either I'm really unfit or my like energy levels are just low because oh my it's not even raining. I'm so angry right now. Basically, I had to run to the post office because it's my big sale today, if you guys don't know. Grey jewelry, I'm wearing it right now. Mine's silver with gold. I don't know how I feel about it, but um we're doing an up to 50% off sale. I'm uploading this video the day that I film it, so um the sale ends on sunday the 3rd of october at 11 p.m british standard time so if you guys want to pick up some necklaces and some rings for up to 50 percent off which is my biggest deal yet check out the link is in my description now i'm going to show you guys the other half of the house amara is in the living room washing dancing vegetables because that's the one thing that she can watch that and she won't get distracted so Let's show you guys the other half. So yeah, when you come up the stairs, my, don't mind the carpets again. When you come up the stairs, I've got these like last set of stairs up to my bedroom and up to the living room, but here is different. So it, we didn't have the gate. We didn't have this. Oh, she hears the voice. We didn't have any of this before we moved, but yeah. So I just got these like nets. It's like a big net and I wrapped it all the way around to this end as well. She's going into my bedroom. Um, I got this big net from Amazon and I also got these like zip tie things that came with it um, from Amazon. And then I got this baby gate because the one thing that I don't really like about this flat that it's kind of my fault because I rushed into getting this flat and I wish I took my time is that when it came to baby proofing, obviously a gate would be perfect here, but it's not ideal because this is here and then the wall is here and the radiator's there and then the banisters don't really like there's a wide gap and it's the same with this one so the only place i could really put the baby gate was here and this is the only place she goes like i never put her here i never put her like right here unless i'm like right there with her to do something quickly but yeah so i got this gate from amazon obviously i can't drill anything so i had to get the pressure fit ones this 
was I think 20 something pounds um, and I'll leave all the information down below. This is the like mini hallway. Um, I've just got like some inventory out here for gray. I don't really know where else to put this. Um, this is like the only available space because there's nothing out here. As you turn from the gate, on your right is my bedroom. My bedroom is nothing special. This lampshade is the same one that's in Amara's room. And this lampshade is the same that's in the bathroom, I believe. I don't know actually, I think they're different, but the same color. But yeah, this is my room. I took off the rug. Like if you guys know, I had this massive blue furry rug that was in my old room. Um, and I just bought it here because I wanted a rug in my room, but I hated it now. Like I literally just ripped it off before I filmed this video. Then I just got these chest of drawers. This came with the flat. So it's just got my like underclothes, my pajamas. It's got some hoodies and some leggings and Corey's stuff is at the bottom. And then this is like Corey's cologne and stuff. Random miscellaneous things on the top. But my wardrobe is nothing special really. This is the inside. It's, it used to be organized guys, I promise. In this one, I've got my bags and my purses. And then here I've got like shirts lots and lots of junk joggers and hoodies and cardigans and blazers and all that and then i've got like bigger bags down there in tote bag and then when you come around here the door is there um i've just got a mars car seat because i was about to clean it and then this is my bed nothing too fancy about my bed i set up led lights um, and then this is my vanity from ikea i've had this vanity since i was about like seven or six months pregnant i remember in my old house my family home i got it and i moved it in with me i was gonna leave it but i needed a vanity to get ready and then this is my plant that was in my living room if you guys follow me on instagram you would know that i was having a dilemma because amara discovered the plant when she started to crawl and she started digging in it and trying to eat the soil so i had no idea where to move this i wanted to move it out there but then she still crawls in that area so my room is always closed she never comes into my room unless i'm there so i just moved it in here it still gets light it still gets watered and then let's finally show you guys the living room which is like the main part of the house this is the living room this is what you see when you walk in this big mirror that i told you guys when we first got it we literally like got it on the street around the corner to the flat we unscrewed the wardrobe and just took the mirror which i didn't have to spend any money on a full length mirror but yeah i know people's gonna tell me about this mirror i know people's gonna tell me it's not safe for her because she can pull it over on her head and blah 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 i already know but there's literally nowhere else we can put it we can't mount it onto the wall obviously and she doesn't even pull out the mirror you guys like really and truly but i know safety first so i do need to figure out where i'm gonna put this there's no one there baby there's nobody there let me actually close my <laughs> you're like let me out yeah let me out <laughs> let me out um but yeah high chairs from ikea and then this is my dining table when i wanted to sh i originally wanted to film this video when i first like cleaned and organized my dining table but obviously now this is a realistic like flat tour honestly you guys but yeah this is my table right now i was taking some products photos and videos for gray my table does not look nice at all right now i apologize it's literally got the i like i was just now doing her hair you guys but <laughs> it's got my printer on it it's got my camera i got this from zara home it smells delicious i love it so much and then I got this from H&M, I believe. And then this pampas flower, so beautiful. So this small one, these ones that look the same, these are from a small business called Pampas and Bloom. I will leave them down below. And then because I thought they were gonna be bigger, so I wasn't expecting them to be this size. So then I just went to my local flower shop um, and the woman was like, these are so popular and that um, she thought they were gonna sell out that day. So as soon as she opened, I walked down there and bought these from her. These are absolutely beautiful and they go perfectly with these ones. So I just popped them and organized them, arranged them myself. So I think they look pretty nice, but yeah, I wanna get a tablecloth because I hate wood. I don't like the look of wood. I like the wooden, kettle and i like the wooden like tins that i've got in my kitchen but i don't like this this lamp was originally over there in this corner but then she started to crawl over and put it down so then i just pushed it in the corner and leave it there so i got this case from amazon um it's literally let me show you guys it's just got all the plugs and stuff in here she does go over here Oop. she does go over here and like bang it and pull it and do all sorts and she doesn't listen like when i tell her no when i say amara don't touch 
she what touches it so yeah another big addition is my tv stand it's from argos i believe i would love to mount the tv up right here where my print is but i'm not allowed to mount the tv at all unfortunately so prime example amara uh -uh, leave it and then over here is my inventory and stuff for gray so i have like a bunch of our thank you cards our jewelry boxes excuse me being out of breath you guys i literally don't know what's happening with me and then i've just got my poly mailers and everything like that but yeah this is the sofa you guys have probably seen it like before but i don't think i've shown it properly but this is the sofa it was my sister's sofa she gave it to me because she moved house um so i took it because obviously sofas are really expensive and this place didn't come with a sofa i'm basically using this effect on my phone like my phone camera where it makes everything look where you can see the overview so this is the overview of my living room tables over there the mirrors there the door i've got my prints from decenio that was gifted but yeah that's my sofa i don't know if this view looks weird it might actually but all the stains on my carpet is mad this is my little corner i sit in this corner and just do work and edit and stuff in this corner um, but yeah, I'm covering up all the stains and the rips because it's actually gross and I don't really want you guys to see it. But yeah, this view is really weird, you guys. Look, oh my God, I look so tall. But look at her. So yeah, that's an overview of my living room. But yeah, that is the video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed our little flat tour. It is literally nothing special. I don't know why people expected so much of me. Like I've been getting so many random comments on like TikTok and stuff of people commenting on the state of my flat. And I think they expect it to be all big and bougie because I have a big following or whatever. That's not the case, you guys. Like even if I did have money, money to spend, I would not spend it renting out a place. I would buy a place, so logic. But yeah, thank you so much for joining us in this video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below some other videos you would like to see. That's all for us. Don't forget to stay happy, stay safe, stay inspired, and we'll see you. This is what happens when you have a 10 month old in a video. She can't sit still for two seconds. She can't sit still for two seconds. Don't forget to stay happy, stay safe, and we'll see you in another video. Bye. Bye bye. Say bye bye. 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 Bye. Mwah. Whoops. <laughs> Are you okay?